Do you know who should be the spokesperson for your company when it has a crisis? I'm Edward Siegel, author of the best-selling book, Crisis Ahead, 101 Ways to Prepare for and Bounce Back from Disasters, Scandals, and Other Emergencies. In today's Crisis Management Minute, I share my recommendations for choosing the best person to talk to news organizations when your business is responding to a crisis situation. Do you know who your spokesperson will be when a crisis strikes your organization? Are they the right person to be the public face of your business? What are the chances they could make the situation even worse because of what they say or how they say it? Don't wait until you're facing a crisis to find out the answers. And don't take a chance on someone who is not qualified for the job. The best spokespersons in a crisis are those with a background in journalism or public relations. They participate in media and spokesperson training sessions. They take part in exercises to test the company's responses to different crisis scenarios. Finally, they work well under pressure. Former White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki provided important lessons about communicating in a crisis. Her televised briefings with reporters immediately became a continuing education class for business leaders. She showed on a daily basis how to communicate clearly and effectively with the media and the public during a crisis or any other time. There's no doubt about it. Jen Psaki is an excellent role model for those who will represent a company during their crisis. In the next episode of the Crisis Management Minute, I'll share my advice about using visuals to help tell your side of the story about a crisis. Remember, it's not if your brand, company, or organization will have a crisis, but when. And the sooner you are prepared for it, the better.